The Zambezi is Africa's fourth largest river. Its waters, fisheries, forests, and rich floodplains support millions of people and amazing biodiversity. But the river, already one of the most heavily dammed in Africa, is facing an onslaught of new hydropower dams. Another 13,000 megawatts of large dam hydropower has been proposed for the Zambezi and its tributaries. Does this make sense, knowing that our planet is heating up due to global climate change? Noted hydrologist Dr. Richard Balefuss documents the risks of building new dams in the Zambezi in a time of climate change. The International Panel on Climate Change has called the Zambezi the river most at risk from climate change in sub-Saharan Africa. We know that the basin will experience worse droughts and more extreme floods in the future. Scientists estimate that the Zambezi's flow will decrease dramatically as a result of climate change. Existing and proposed dams are not being properly evaluated for these risks. The result could be dams that are uneconomic because there's not enough water to drive their turbines, or on the other hand, dams that are not built to withstand bigger floods. In a worst case scenario, dams could break as a result of extreme floods, which could be catastrophic for millions of people in the basin. My name is Rudo Sanyang. Uh, I'm Zimbabwean, and I've worked on the Zambezi since 1987. The design of the two proposed major dams on the Zambezi, that is the Mpandangua in Mozambique and the Batoka Gorge Dam downstream of the Victoria Falls, does not incorporate a climate change risk. We need to be forward thinking and to start investing in no regret measures. We need to use the sun and the wind to harness uh, electricity for our people. We therefore need to act now in preserving our river ecosystems. We need to ensure that all developments that take place on the rivers are sustainable and provide long-term benefits to the communities that rely on the rivers for their livelihoods.